Welcome back to today's to a brand new episode of Hyper Light Drifter and hang on just a second guys can I help you what's going on here I don't need all the frog noises in the back okay I'm gonna move out of here <laughs> welcome back to cheese to a brand new episode I've been sitting there AFK for a little bit before I record and I guess they all like to gather around you <laughs> well hey by the way this is episode four of this series in case you missed it we did a like three hour long live stream for episode three we ended up clearing out we cleared out this entire northern section and got the other boss so if you've maybe missed a little bit of that kind of content back from prior back on Saturday I think it was feel free to check it out kind of take a look at it kind of browse it if you want you know feel free to check out the video but hey we will be continuing on and trying to I think we will be trying to get this left hand side cleared out we have gotten a lot on the northern side we got a, everything on the right hand side and we can't go down south just yet because the only way we can go down south is if we go ahead and activate all these other temples so we will be moving on over to the left hand side and seeing exactly what it has in store for us and on the northern side they had a lot of birds they had a lot of uh wizardry they had a lot of kind of magic going on on the right hand side they had a lot of like ninjas and like kind of almost old-timey type of combat and style going on on the left hand side i have absolutely no idea what we're going to be in store for if we actually take a look at the map one more time here real quick it's looking a little bit more forestry a little bit more kind of kind of just you know you're, you're going into the swamp of the lands you're kind of going into like i've already taken a look at this right off the bat you're kind of getting some flowers and immediately my health bar has just popped up um is there somebody nearby hello does somebody need a hug oh, aren't you just adorable goodbye <laughs> you know on top of that we have been making some good progress and trying to figure out exactly what the story is that they're trying to tell behind the scenes here for the game it seems as though for the larger sense of it, there is almost an alternative realm of some sorts. Um, ooh, I can make that. Oh, okay, it's purple ground over here. Nice. Uh, we There appears to be maybe an alternative dimension of sorts that we're kind of tapping into as we kind of progress through the area and kind of uncover these pillars and understand what it is that's happening to us. There's a giant pyramid of some sorts of lights and, and wonder and bewilderment and a whole bunch of questions. And honestly, in the end, they're all just speculation we still have as many questions as we do answers and still we don't have a lot resolved but hopefully a lot of it will be kind of coming to a close here in the next few episodes but hey i just figured out as well frost punk 2 has a, okay i thought that was gonna be like another bird enemy <laughs> frost punk 2 has recently released they are on their beta mode right now which is amazing so hey look forward to maybe playing some frost punk i I kind of want to do it in a live stream format, although I might do kind of some videos on it as well. I'm looking maybe this Saturday, you know, I think this will be coming out. I, this will be coming out tomorrow, which will be Tuesday. And I think we'll probably be finishing up this game sometime around maybe Wednesday, maybe Thursday, right around there. But let's see what this man has to say. On warrior, down on his knees, down on his life. Okay, and? Oh, okay. He's telling me who the boss is. It's going to be kind of a old knight-like warrior. Probably a lot of armor. Imagine maybe a lot of dashing strikes type of situation. Okay. So he's all the way off to his left-hand side, huh? It doesn't necessarily seem like it's going to be too difficult to get all the way over there, but we'll see how it goes. On the northern section, there were a lot of kind of secret areas and different kind of rooms and doorways and other kind of areas in general that we kind of had to convolutedly get our way around in order to kind of discover exactly which ways to go. So before we go even further left, let's go ahead and kind of, you no, know, I came from the south. Anything up top behind this guy anywhere? No, not particular. I think they kind of just want us to continue along. Yeah, we probably will be finishing this game. I mean, I I have no idea what is really in store for us, but they say it's about eight hours long. We played about for about three hours yesterday. We've played maybe for about three hours-ish wise, maybe two hours-ish wise in terms of the episodes. Yeah, you know, maybe in a couple more episodes, we'll end up finishing off. And I want to start releasing episodes on Frostpunk 2. So, yeah, I have not necessarily determined on how I want to do episodes on those just yet. I might just kind of do big mega, mega episodes, see how long it takes, see what the pacing is all about. It's in beta mode right now, so it still has quite a bit of, you know, work to be done. Not everything is going to be accessible, but I've been playing this game for a long, long time. We actually took a look at Frostpunk 1 maybe about a month ago. Feel free to go take a look. I believe it was called something along the lines of like Frostpunk 1. Is it good? You know, what's, what's, what's the deal with it? I am also starting to realize I'm getting a little bit surrounded here. Why don't I go ahead and just start using my pistol a little bit more? Please stay back. I, I'm out of ammo. Okay, I am you. Get rid of you. Get rid of you. Thank you. <laughs> my god i'm trying to talk here and i'm taking all this damage not paying attention to my health i mean i i kind of feel like the villain here right i mean look at this they were all just 
gathered around a campfire and I just, you know, hazardly just walked my way into their home and I murdered everybody. The women and the children too. There were no survivors, <laughs> you know? But hey, to be fair, maybe they killed this guy. There's a skeleton sitting right here. Maybe they were murderers. I don't know, who knows? I think I may have done us a service. No, a little med kit here, beautiful. Uh, did I even have to come up here? Did, did I even have to come up here and murder this entire t this entire family? I, I I sure hope so. Can I get past here? Looks like there might be a path up and top. No, not quite. Can I destroy this stuff? Get out of the way? No. Uh, I, did I not even have to come up here? Uh, sorry, guys. Just passing through. I thought I'd destroy your entire culture and civilization while I'm just you know strolling about. Why not? You looked at me funny. As as it comes natural in my American blood. What can I say? I had to colonize a little bit. <laughs> Um, this seems a little bit confusing how to get through a lot of this territory, but we're making our way, making our way downtown, walking fast, uh, cities pass uh, around the downtown. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> I do not know the lyrics of most major songs. I'm sorry. <laughs> that is the closest I got. If you know the lyrics, post all the lyrics in the comments down below. I will read them. <laughs> yeah, just post the entire lyrics to the song. I guarantee I'll sing it to myself in my lonesome. Why not? <laughs> uh, is this entire room just based upon having that gold coin? We did just get ourselves another new gold coin. Nice. We are still kind of sticking along with our pistol. We did get another med kit upgrade from the live stream. And as well as it, we also have grenades. Oh, that's right. I should have used a grenade. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, you seem important. A lot of this stuff seems kind of important. I'm just very randomly moving my way through town here, seeing just whatever sticks out to us. Especially now that I've got a little bit more of a feel for the situation, a little bit more of a feel for the game. I feel like I can just kind of, just, you know, just kind of just wander around a little bit more freely. Oh, you know what? I never did discover what this was up in the northern section either during the live stream. There was a door like this with a green key and a whole bunch of slots, and I have no idea what they are. And you know what? Hey, if you guys know the answer to this, if you've played this game before, you know, try not to spoil too much, but is there a particular thing that should be searching for to unlock these doors? Is it a end game material? Maybe after I end the game, I can come back and take a look at these. I'm not entirely certain. Or is it something that I'm missing entirely? Is it like a type of content that I should be investigating as we kind of play through the game? I don't know, but our time is limited in terms of how much longer this game is going to be on the channel on top of uh, on how long it's going to be a series. So feel free to get those comments in and let me know now because when the series ends, if there are enough comments kind of around to let me know what other kind of stuff I should be looking out for, then, you know, I can always go, oh God, I can always go ahead and make a couple of episodes just trying to go ahead and search out those secrets <laughs> on top of the Frostpunk stuff that's going on at the same time. Oh my God, I'm getting my, I'm getting my ass handed to me. I'm not good at dodging. A Piccolo would be upset with me. I, I know I need to dodge. No, okay, he, you guys are fast. Stay back, stay back. Just gonna use my pistol, thank you. I mean, there's more than enough boxes and stuff around. I should be able to get my ammo back easily enough. Get a health. Stupid bird. Running with my stupid quarter. Reminds me of Editor Nettie. I think there's another dog. Nope, it's just a medkit. I'm sorry, Mr. Medkit. I thought you were a doggo. You're both green. You know, it's an easy mistake to make. You know, one might be a life saving material who is a medkit that can, you know, bring you. Ah! <laughs> Damn you, gravity. <laughs> one might be a med kit that can save you and your family. One might be a hungry dog that can eat you. You know, who knows? I'm not counting. Where are we? I feel like I have just been very randomly moving through the forest here. Um, it's somewhere up here, kind of near this north side. I'm not really sure if there's anything around here. I mean, that's kind of the point of exploring, right? We have no idea what's going on. I, I know I'm supposed to go inside the tree, but are there any secrets around here? not really seeing anything in particular it seems like a good area to hide stuff but no all right let's walk on inside see what happens hello anybody home oh actually somebody looks like they might be home but they're frozen can i talk to you anything to say no okay well uh good to know i'm uh, glad to meet you um my name's digital dave i hail from the midwest i am in america yeah and um you know, you're such a good listener. You know, like, I really feel like you get to know me as a person. Oh, you know what? Let me give you a hug. No, no, no. Let me, let me give you a hug. Ah, yes. Warm that chilled heart of yours. I'm just gonna go ahead and take your med kit here, if you don't mind. You know, I, look, it's me, Casa Sukas, am I right? <laughs> yeah, don't, don't, don't get up. Don't worry. Don't worry. I'll, I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll come visit. All right. Good to see you. Bye. <laughs> I'm out of here. You know, there do appear to be 
quite a number of kind of allies they're not really allies but like characters around that we haven't really seen to quote unquote unlock i think ooh, elevator secret tunnel but per se like unlocked um there was a bird guy up the north side on the right hand side there was like a ninja man sitting at, at like a campground now we have like that frozen guy in a tree i don't know if there's anything in particular that we're supposed to be doing to come back to unlock them or something of the sort oh god why am i i'm coughing what's going on everything got very grainy all of a sudden huh well i'm gonna go ahead and assume that this is probably meaning that we're on the right track right i want to keep on moving towards the progression hello oh my above ground it's locked um let me in let me in oh dear god well i'm not locked in here with you you're locked in here with me oh god you know maybe maybe i'm locked in here with you oh god okay uh grenade grenade <laughs> I, I i could have taken out more with that but i did not i my aim is not all that is cracked up to be we have one stuck down in that left hand corner i'm gonna go ahead and use my pistol to the best of my advantage i'm being stuck on the shrubs go ahead and keep my range keep my range please just open ah, no no don't you dare okay i need to get rid of that guy please i need you to stop firing range at me come on come on keep my distance there we go there we go and go ahead and get all three of them with those slices yeah and a golden coin on the ground nice and we already have our ammo back too and the door is open okay okay so i was locked in here with you i see how it is it's an important distinction to make i was locked in with you <laughs> I, I i did not want to be a part of that situation but you know what i did win it oh god hello ah um, I don't need more samurais in my life. Look, the last time we had ninjas over on the right-hand side, over on the east side, I did not deal well with them at all. Okay. Oh, they are frozen? L kind of like that person up in the house? Come on, get the third slash and get the third slash. Yeah, there we go. Don't give you the opportunity. Oh, God, there's a lot of you. Well, they're kind of slow and predictable, so they're not necessarily too difficult, which is good. So I won't lose as much health as those shuriken-throwing bastards. Come on, get out of here. Thank you. Oh, we're already down to two health. Uh, if I find another med kit, I'll waste it. I mean, it's not really a waste, is it? You know, we're kind of still using it, but it, it, you know what? I got, I got the piss. Ow! You reached me. Huh. I did not think his attack was going to reach that far. Note to self, they attack much further than anticipated. I'm going to use a med kit now, I suppose, so I don't have to reset my progress. If I accidentally go down, like, no, not like so, because I will be taking you out. Come on. But how far is your reach? If I go ahead and back up, yeah, that's that's a pretty good distance. Dodge. Get a triple slash, triple slash. Yeah. What is going on? Okay, this I'm very confused on anywhere where I'm going. I'm going to sit down for a second. We are progressing, but at this point, I feel as though I should have come across maybe something with some of those cores. It looks like we have our teleporter region right here directly to our left. Oh, I see stuff down here on the south side, right below me. I can't seem to find a way on over. Can we travel to the right and down below? Not entirely certain. But you know, I've been having a lot of fun playing this game in general. Although during that live stream, I did actually have a really... Oh, goodbye. <laughs> Just blow him up behind there. Don't you dare try hiding from me. I've got explosions on my side. But you know, during that live stream, I did actually have a long rant about kind of how youtube in general really does just kind of stagnate smaller channels and the difficulty of trying to get yourself discovered out there in general like it's you know it increasingly becomes harder and harder and harder especially as the market of gaming becomes more and more saturated with other content creators and am i okay good there's another way out I, 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 come on do a strike there we go can i get out of here or am i stuck into another situation oh okay there we go odd but all right you know i did a long rant of kind of like youtube really does kind of stagnate the discoverability of smaller channels we went through the idea of impressions in terms of like you know in terms of like what people saw and like impressions in terms of like the click-through rate and what kind of going on with the views and traffic sources and all that fun stuff so if you, you know, are maybe interested in the idea of what goes on behind the scenes of the analytical data <laughs> and there's a spider too if the analytical data and numbers that go along behind the scenes and what it is to make a youtube channel kind of the stuff sources and other general metrics of which we judge how well a video is performing by then feel free to check out the okay i need to take you out now before you have another chance to slice at me take a med kit please heal on up they can dodge you can't they dodge better than i do i don't like that that's not fair excuse me are you a core what are you 
What's a button? Okay, I was about to say, like, what? That seems very odd. You know, I kind of went over all the numbers and what it is and what it means to how you know a video performs well. I mean, I tell you, I'm running out of breath. I should not have eaten an entire Tombstone pizza before recording. <laughs> you know, like, I skipped lunch today at work. And I'm like, you know, I'll, I think I've got a pizza at home. It'll be fine. I'll just eat it when I get home. Got ourselves a second gold coin. I think I, we need three for the dash ability. So if I upgrade anything next, I either one want to spend it on another med kit or I want to spend it on getting another dash or the dash ability. Because I don't exactly know what it does besides the fact that it kind of dashes you around in a triangle. But, you know, I was sitting there at work and I'm like, oh, God, I need to take my I need to stop taking my hands off the controller. <laughs> um is that everything i think that is everything to start progressing my way back to where we came from I mean, there, there were some kind of collectibles around here so that was good but um i i, I was sitting there at work like i'll skip lunch i'll just eat a pizza when i get home you know i, I cooked up an entire tombstone pizza yeah the pepperoni sausage kind i know i'm a real fat ass <laughs> i'm only like 180 pounds i'm not big but uh that was a poor decision i don't know why i didn't just wait until after i got done recording because i i kind of forgot about the fact that I'm about to record for an entire like hour straight or at least however long it takes to kind of find a good point in the middle of progression of this area. It might be like a half an hour. It might be 20 minutes. I mean, well, we've already been recording for about 16, 17 minutes. So by the way, the progress has been going, we'll probably be right around 30 minutes and oh, okay, they're birds. <laughs> Got ourselves another teleporter. Nice. And it does refresh up all of our kind of inventory. Is it going to, I don't remember. Is this the thing that also shows us where the cores are? No, warp here anytime using that map. We are missing information. We need to find some more areas. And hey, speak of the devil, this is probably going to lead right to one of them. But um, yeah, you know, it's it's been nice. I've been having fun playing the game. And I, we're probably going to be going for about a half an hour. I'm thinking maybe to see wherever this area leads us to. It kind of just feels however it all progresses. But I've been having fun doing this series. I've been having fun. I've been trying to... Oh, God, not the gravity again. I've been trying to figure out exactly what it is that maybe makes a video successful in comparison towards other ones because you might be saying oh yeah of course i mean you're a youtuber that leads nowhere okay well i see how it is um you're a youtuber of course you're trying to figure out what's a good video right but i've been really trying to hone in hard on the analytical data of what it is of what's a view what you guys in general what you guys would want to see you know it's not necessarily always trying to get new viewers i mean of course that is somewhat part of the goal Ooh, barely dodged the way of that one and these little crystal spider looking things but you're always trying to figure out exactly what is it that you guys enjoy. What was the reason that you subscribed to begin with? You know, what is it that led you to believe that I want to watch more videos of this? You know, was it the Baldur's Gate video? Was it maybe some of my other stuff like the Hades? Or maybe was it the song or, oh God, double dodge. Ooh, barely got out of that one. Can I make that jump? That almost feels like a wall is going to block me. I'm going to get rid of you guys from a distance. Okay, good. I can make that jump. But, you know, I'm trying to figure out what it is where a lot of the sources of where people have come from. So, hey, if you have the opportunity, comment down below. What video is it that, is it that made you subscribe? You know, where is it that you kind of came along? You're like, you know, I want to subscribe to this. I've been really trying to figure out what it is to hone in, what it is the type of style that I want to create. I mean, at the end of the day, the style that I want to mostly create, I can just kind of chop down this crystal. Huh. Oh, is there something below here? Am I hiding? They're regenerating. I, I am stuck. Oh, God. Okay, I can freeze inside the crystals. I see it. Note to self. <laughs> but, you know, I mean, I kind of know the style of how I like to make videos. You know, I don't like to do super hyper edited type of styles. I like to sit back and relax a little bit more. Almost feel like we're kind of hanging out together, enjoying a game, seeing what a game has to offer. We're here, one, to hang out, but also, two, to see what it is that a developer has to show us, right? It's not always about necessarily me myself being essentially the product of the channel but it is also to see what it is that other people have made and discover what it oh god i need it okay i need to hurry up i need to keep on moving around get behind this cover my god that is a lot there are four of them over there four well good thing i got some ammo I i'm shooting the wall take you out okay now i'm missing i'm missing no okay one's down I dodge somehow okay god there stop <laughs> i'm not very good at this i only have i have nothing left i have no bolts left well first of all let's heal up heal up please there we go is this oh that's just activating the elevator i guess goodbye there was something up there though right we don't want to leave that behind but you know i've been trying to really figure out what it is and hone in i kind of know what it is that i like i like to sit back and relax but you know 
there can definitely be improvements to the style there can be improvements maybe to viewer retention there can be improvements to maybe trying to get you engaged in general rather than you know consistently being like hey got a question comment down below you know there can always be more to it and how do i open that up do i need to like defeat all i thought i kind of defeated all the enemies already right there should be no one else here I would think that has solved everything, or maybe not. We can keep on going back up the elevator. But as well, we've got... You know, I still have two shots left here. Let's aim these really carefully. There we go. Does this open this up? No, it does not. Okay, we must have to progress forward. You know, it's... I guess it's all just a roundabout way of saying that, you know, thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for watching the content in general. And, you know, I, I hope to make more projects in the future. But this is also at the same time of me highly enjoying and having fun with making content in general. You know, and the idea of putting content out there, getting my weird ADHD brain out there. I'm just trying to make my dumb ideas like, you know, the one where I was dancing in a disco, you know, my you know, the slight movies that I've been making, you know, the songs and stuff like that. I always love doing stuff. My aim is not always to be like rich and famous youtuber or whatever of course it would be nice to Ooh, i got okay there i can't take out these towers uh they are invulnerable i need to move my way around he shoots as well you are un you're unnecessary sir unnecessary i okay good that deactivated them my god um <laughs> but of course that is always a little bit of a goal right i mean of course who would not want to be able to just work from home be your own boss and just kind of make whatever you want and still get paid for it. obviously that's going to be nice but i am also working in the aerospace industry i i love space right i mean some of my very first content on this channel was playing i mean i think that some of the very first was actually playing like shadow of war and stuff like that but it was also playing kerbal space program too i'm out of ammo nice uh, it was also playing Kerbal Space Program 2, and some of the original was like the star the star hopper 150 meter test i can't believe that was only like six years ago, I was looking at some of those videos recently and like, is God, that, that really was not that long ago. Six years sounds like a while, but to think that SpaceX has gone from their little star hopper, 150 meter test, which was essentially nothing more than a little water tank of a of a ship to what is now essentially an entire starship that is like 150 meters tall or whatever the heck it is, almost as high as it used to fly. And, you know, the thing is it has like 300,000 tons of thrust and the things on a course to go towards the moon. Go to, to go towards the moon and mars you know it's going to be the primary objective of the lunar gateway project and all that stuff and it's amazing to see the progress that's been made so far and it's honestly mind-blowing that we are essentially in a we are essentially in a new space race we are in a new space age not as i mean well we are also in a space race right because we are in a space race also with china heavily you, there are multiple big guys over here okay i shoot you from a distance oh god they're blocking my shots with their crystals Come on, come on. Ow, ow. Okay, I can probably take him out before he gets another shot at. Nice. Let him do his move. Out. He attacks multiple times in a row. I don't like that. You didn't do that before. Before it was only once. That doesn't seem a little fair. Get take of you. Oh. Who else? Anyone else? It still says it's locked. What else do I got to do around here? Maybe hit all. I'm going to break everything. I'm going to do a Zelda style. Just absolutely. Ah. Getting frozen in the ice. No. Um, I guess I'll use a... Do I? No, I don't need to use my kit right now. There has to be a lever around here. Ah, there we are. A couple of the more enemies. But, you know, we are essentially in a new space race because, you know, China has, was essentially able to make their own entire space station, you know, in orbit. And I think it was like a year and a half, you know? Something like the International Space Station was a conglomerative effect or a conglomerative effort of multiple nations over multiple years and, it's con and is a continuous like project to expand it and continue it and keep it running all that stuff and then china and all you know their quote-unquote glory of essentially saying we don't care if you die we're going to take all of the means of production and we're going to put a station in space whether you like it or not and they managed to do it so you know they they are very progressing very fast and they're giving you know not just america but all of the world a run for their money in terms of their progression because it turns out that when you throw the whole idea of safety out the window you can get a lot done now, obviously, I am not praising them by any means at all. Like, safety is obviously super important. Like, it's it's horrendous by the fact that they can just value life of their own citizens so little, which is, you know, a thing in of itself. Which, you know, a lot of people don't know this, is that when China launches rockets, that giant center core, you know, the one that never makes it up into space, usually it's the second stage that makes it up into space, that giant center core of the rocket, 
Now, most people know that like most of the rockets, like center stages, they go and fall into the ocean, right? You know, like the US, Europe, UK, literally every other country, even India that, you know, has the capability to put things up in space, make sure that their expended rockets, you know, don't fall back down onto their own people. You know, I don't know about you guys, but that seems like a good quality to have that maybe after you're done with the rocket, you don't just have some, oh my God, what the heck? Um, note to self, look out for the crystals on the ground. Yeah, I do not like that. Does that count? Oh, come on. I thought I was north of that. Okay. Um, if I break you open, you're not going to be rude and like try to stab me or something, right? Right? You promise me I'm going to hit this crystal one more time and you're not going to be rude. Okay. You're almost out. You're blinking twice for yes, right? No, I killed him. <laughs> oh my god, I dreamed. I dreamed his name was gonna be G Wait, he's back. I was too busy crying. He's back. Wait, I, I, I saw you die. You're back. Jerry. Oh, my loved one. Oh, I can't. I remember all those times when we used to talk to each other, and I was like, I'm gonna break you out. And you'd like sat there and just stared at me blankly. <laughs> I'm so glad you're back. Anyway, you stay there. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to come back for you one day. Oh, God. <laughs> no, he's got to watch me die. I love her. No, Jerry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You shouldn't have to see me like this. <laughs> As I just die immediately on the crystals. I need to double jump on that. Bye. Go down over. Oh, God, I'm really bad at that. Okay, and get over. I am. I'm bad at traps and hello. Okay, first of all, Anubis, I don't know what you're doing here. We've been seeing you all around in multiple parts, and typically wherever you lead me leads to more danger. Secondly, can I pet you? And thirdly, I do not appreciate the ominous music. It makes me feel a little scared on the inside, and I, I don't like that. I don't like to feel scared. I want to be happy. I'm hearing a lot of things going on in front of me. I'm hearing, let, let's take a listen. Let, take your predictions now. Do you think A, there are people shooting each other up there? Do you think it's B, they're having a really ecstatic birthday party? Or do you think it's C, all of the above? Because in Texas, both can happen. <laughs> oh, that sounds like a really good birthday party. <laughs> hey there, bud. Been a while. How are you doing? Still got that cough, huh? Still got that ter 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 tuberculosis? Yeah, that's the word. Okay, he's showing us exactly where all the ruins are. Okay, how far away are all these? We have one directly ahead of us. We have two that are almost directly next to the teleporter, really. Oh, huh, well, that seems kind of easy to do. Well, why don't we go ahead and take... Well, this one is going to require three to open up to go north. Okay, that's fine. We've we've seen a few of those before in previous episodes. Uh, is this, Hang on, I see something here. Nice. Now, does this go somewhere left? I'm seeing that there should be a path somewhere in this direction, but I'm not quite seeing. Oh, brother, you are coughing real hard. Do you, do you need like a cough drop or something, my man? Do you do you want like a pat on the back? You know, you know, maybe a little peck on the kiss, you know, or a little peck on the on the cheek. Mwah. No? Okay. Okay. Do you feel better? Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> don't mind me. I, 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 he, he's a good friend. That's all he is. He's just a good friend. A really cool, supportive, awesome, sexy hunk of a man of a friend. Okay? I don't know why. It's not just a phase, mom. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm going with this. I'm just rambling on about random stuff. Um, Do I want to progress this way? I, I, hang on. We've got to double check. I, we've got to be missing something here, right? I, there's got to be a way to go left. The map isn't exactly all that easy to tell on where you're going. It's not not the most easy thing to read, but I felt like one of these would have been like a pathway towards the next section, but I'm not really seeing anything. The only path to victory I'm seeing here is through that door. And that door definitely progresses us up to the next area, but we need three runes to do that though, right? We need three runes to open it. And I'm only seeing, th oh, okay, there is one of the ruins. It's way back there. I missed that one. Okay, so we need to go collect all of these. Let's go teleport back towards the center and try to get one of these. They both seem to be pretty close, but I feel like I explored around a lot in the area and didn't really see anything. Hi, birds. Can I pet you? Bye, birds. <laughs> it reminds me of that uh, 
It reminds me of that stupid short that I released, uh, I think yesterday, where I sounded like a crow. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, like, sometimes when I'm freaking out and, like, I'm just, like, yelling, I'm like, I don't know what to do, I sound like a crow. I, I'm like, ah! Ah! <laughs> you know, like, it is what it is. You require a four? Or just one? Or any of them? Okay. Uh, I'm not having a lot of luck on trying to progress this story. Luckily enough, I can just keep on rambling on in the background. Hopefully the words just keep on coming. They don't stop coming and they keep on coming. <laughs> That's just how my brain works. The words just do not stop coming. So I thought we already went through this territory once, but we did activate a lot of different buttons and kind of activators and killed a lot of enemies. So there might be something here that I've missed. This seems a little bit different. Do I remember it being so dark in here? I don't think I do remember it being so dark in here. Because, I mean, is this a doorway up here? This, they all kind of look like they're doorways. No, can't do anything there. And that's where I went up before, right? I mean, this is where it just kind of takes me up to the other area. This is where we just were just a little bit ago. But exactly where is this again? I've forgotten exactly. Right. So this put us over on this side, which is actually very, how did I get all the way over here? from the elevator that was directly above the teleporter like three miles off to the east and this is off to the west I'm just saying logistically speaking physically speaking dimensionally wise that does not make a lot of sense so I'm going to progress back through the area again see if I, if I missed something you know I did open up this pathway before oh, I need to go reactivate the buttons okay oh god I respawned here oh god run 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 <laughs> ah, straight into the bullets no I need to go reactivate this stuff I see how it is I believe it was this one over here. Yep, there we go. Activate that out. I got frozen. I had to smash the button there to try to unblock myself. Get on over. Yeah, this is this is what I missed last time. Come on, and don't you dare. Okay, I'm gonna use a med kit now before I accidentally kill myself with all this fall damage. Wait for it to respawn. There we go. I, what? Yeah, come on. Dodge, dodge, dodge. There we go. Oh my God, I don't know how I'm managing to fail on those so hard. And then we had to activate this one, right? I know I'm just redoing the area, but there had been something that I've missed here because we seem to be right on top of, right? Yeah, it's right down there, right next to me. It should be below somewhere, just down here. But how do we get to it? That is the fun part. That is the question. That is the reason we are here. Not seeing another path. You know, we never did get in through that door, did we? Got us fully charged from slashing. Okay. Take out the enemies. Did we ever find a way to get in through this door? Take out everyone. Maybe we just needed to get rid of everyone. No, it still seems there. What am I missing? Oh my god, I can't believe it took me that long to figure that out. I had to do it with like a laser instead of I had to do it with a laser instead of my pistol of shooting this target in like the background just to get these tiles. Okay, but that just gets me over to the golden key. I still have no idea on how to get through any of these other doors. I've been exploring around and I'm not too certain. Like, how do I get into there? It appears to be locked out. And I've been following along this path along. I, I haven't quite been able to figure out how to get into, really, honestly, anywhere at all. So I'm going to have to keep on investigating around. See, I, I'm not sure. There's got to be something that I'm missing here. I mean, I may, honestly, might just have to leave it to the comments to let me know, you know, if, if you guys have played this before. Otherwise, I might have to do a little bit of research and just trying to figure it out. But I would like to figure it out myself. I hate... I don't like the idea of having to look up an answer because the answer is got to be right in front of me. The The solution is obvious, right? That the game has not been that confusing. It hasn't been that much of a puzzle game per se to trying to figure out what it is that's going on, right? It all, it all seems that all the clues are there and there is just something that I'm not understanding. There's something that I'm, oh, well, <laughs> Now I'm locked in here and you're locked out there. What are you going to do about that? Sir? Oh God, you can't, you can't hurt me in here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. And get him. Yeah, <laughs> get out of here. Oh, and he dropped a gold coin for me. Nice. Hmm. I'll, I'm going to try looking around a little bit further because I keep on going through. I think I'm just doing the exact same 
thing again i'm going back through the exact same area nothing's really different from before so what am i missing are there secret doors are there is there a secret button is there a secret path or an elevator or something that i'm not quite familiar with i know that we can kind of we're gonna free this guy off to the right hand side we need to go ahead and hit this one over here i believe activate this let's run on back get towards the other area now i don't think i did this last time go ahead and take him out Ooh, the laser does actually two damage was not aware that it does more but it's still not really that much better than the pistol i mean the pistol i mean it does one damage sure but like use a med kit real quick i knew i was gonna take damage there oh god and i'm frozen get out of here <laughs> i'm gonna use another med kit almost immediately oh well this is looking new right i mean uh i got a grenade and i'm not afraid to use them boom throw it yeah oh and it took him out surprised by that actually nice 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 i'm still taking damage oh god get to the other side i need to turn off these turrets please no stop shooting at me okay good they're, de they're deactivated <laughs> I take a lot of hit. Oh god, there's a ninja on here. Now take out. I need more med kits. Uh, there's another gold coin as well. There's a lot of resources in some of these jail cells, which is a little bit. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what kind of system that they're running here that all of your prisoners get to keep their weapons. I mean, look, and also, why am I able to open up these doors from the opposite, from the inside, and you guys are not opening up from the inside? I just feel so that there are some lost opportunities here where you definitely could have been escaping and chose not to. Now, it doesn't really appear that there's a whole lot going on over here, though, either, right? Just It's just more kind of collectibles along the way. But not necessarily anything to progress the story. We'll go back out towards those stairs on the left-hand side where we just were. We don't really need to bother fighting these guys. Just move on through. Don't don't even bother trying to lose health. This just takes us back to this room. We can open up this. Then we're fighting the same people again. Yeah, there isn't really anything necessarily new about this. There's something that I'm missing here that I'm not quite understanding. So let's go, let's go ahead and take out these guys in general. I Do I have any grenades? Uh, I do have a grenade. Throw it. Oh, wait, that took me out too? Wait, excuse me, what killed me? No, no. Okay, good. It starts us off back in this room. You know, I think immediately we should just escalate straight to absolute violence, right? Why even bother trying to gather them all up and all this stuff and be nice and trying to cordially take them out with a sword when I can just go ahead and throw a grenade at them? You know, okay, okay. Honestly, it only took like half their health, so it does about five damage per grenade. That's, that's pretty good. I should be using them more for the bosses, honestly. But uh, each time we've come across a boss, I have completely forgotten about it and just completely ignored it out of my mind. Okay, take out the last enemy. We should be golden, right? That's everyone, right? Is there someone hiding around here? Any last enemies that I should know about? Anyone kind of hiding around a corner? The doors are still locked. We got this guy in the corner. Ah, there he is. There he is. Now it all opens up. Get another med kit, just like we were before. Use it to heal up immediately. But that said, yeah, not not a whole lot. Is there something that I'm missing here? There's got to be. Oh, obviously, there's something that I'm missing here because I'm not quite understanding it because we're kind of just doing a full circle back to what we were before. This isn't the path. We're coming right on back towards where the night was. We've yet to discover any of the cores, and now we're right back towards the central room. Yeah, we're right back where we started. This just did a giant circle. But you know what? Now that I have done a giant circle with this, right? Now that I have actually done that. First of all, let's turn that off. Uh, never mind, that did not turn them off. Keep on going around. But now that we have done a giant circle, maybe something else has been activated along the way. God, I don't like that. Maybe something has been opened up, right? Because the answer has to be within this room. I at least within these rooms type of situation. I've not seen any additional like pillars or activation or switches. I'm trying to destroy all the ice structures to maybe there's something being hidden among here. Hang on. There's got to be something, right? If I break this ice and can I like move through any of these territories? No. Anything hiding in this ice crystal, anything of the sort, that goes back up towards the direction that just continues along. Anything in these ice crystals. Anything like a button hide in here. Anything that end up being like a doorway. Um, no, not quite. And we still don't have access to this room. So if we take a look at the map, that is probably, yeah, that definitely is a direction directly into a room for it. And there's even like one below us. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how to get to any of these. I think we almost need to go back towards the teleporter room. If we go to the overworld and then zoom back in, take a look at this. Where are we? Okay, I, let's let's go back up to the surface. 
there has to be another pathway because we are just essentially in a elevator that is directly north of where it is that we kind of started at the at the teleporter pad so we didn't exactly travel very far to exactly explore so there might be another path that drops us down into that opens up the door and kind of stuff like that maybe they're all kind of interconnected i forgot about the i forget about the floor floors do not just stop being floors well i mean that just seems like an ineffective floor like oh yeah it's a floor but like at times when you step on the floor as a floor it actually just stops being a floor what do you mean it stops being a floor well you see there was once a floor uh-huh you stepped on it right and now there's no longer a floor all right great um so can you use it as a floor well yeah you can use it as a floor until there's no longer a floor and then when there's no longer a floor you no longer have a floor to use but the floor does come back and then you can use the floor again except when it stops being a floor <laughs> it's like <laughs> how convoluted do you want it to be you know how, how far how far down the rabbit hole does this path go so we can't open this up we can't go down south there are no other paths around here the only extra path was that elevator on the north side we do have these stairs off to the left which i believe didn't necessarily lead to anywhere revolutionary or brand new and we'll keep on traveling along and see what happens because i did we come through this part before have we this doesn't look very familiar it looks different i don't quite remember this area not no not, wait have i not explored to the left has my adhd brain just completely passed over the thought of thinking that we went left because I know that we ended up at the temple. So I guess maybe in my mind, it just kind of connected the two and assumed that we had gone to the left, even though we have not. Either that or I'm completely brain dead and my thoughts are just so, con or just a, a mush of puddle of just brain goo that somehow I'm not remembering anything about coming over towards this direction. Because this does all appear to be brand new to me. If I'm going crazy and if I'm losing my mind, which I'm not losing my mind, but if I am losing my mind, hey, if I'm losing my mind, let me know down below if I'm losing my mind. And I'll tell you how wrong you are because I'm not losing my mind, right? We have not been here before, right? I swear to God, we've not been here before. I'm not losing my mind. Am I? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at the footage later. And I, am I going to even know if I look at the footage later? Who knows? Am I going to edit it? Am I going to edit enough and actually look at all the stuff in between to remember whether or not if I did or not? I don't know. Am I losing my mind? Have I lost my mind? Am I... What's the point of losing it if it was never there to begin with? I don't know. Take out all these ninjas. I swear to God, this could just be a whole bunch of homeless people and I'm just cracked out right now and I'm just defeating an entire like town of people right now. It, oh, I just noticed. If you were at full med kits and you pick up another med kit, it just heals you all the way if you're missing health. You don't have to use a med kit when you're picking up the med kit. Well, well, cover me silly because that just seems weird. Oh, we have not been here before, right? No, yeah, we have, look, I, I remember Jerry, and that, that there, that there is an imposter, that's not Jerry, I remember Jerry, Jerry was next to the spikes, because Jerry liked spikes, Jerry and me go way back, I, there were a lot of spikes in our lifetime, I would step on a spike and I'd die, he'd not step on the spikes and not die, he'd stay frozen, i stay mobile, if we had a thing going on, and you sir, you are not Jerry, because there's one thing that you don't have that Jerry did have, you don't have spikes, there are spikes over there, but like that's out of your real estate, right, that's, that's out of your zone, you might be frozen, but it's just not the same you don't have the same spikes that jerry did you know what i don't even want to see you anymore you can die yep that's it yep no more no more i'm gonna name you i'm gonna name you it you're just imposter you're not gonna be able to get a name that is your name you're just imposter you are a phony everybody he's a phony he's a phony okay keep on moving through oh hello there good sir okay now i definitely know i have not lost my mind because that guy right there i'm i i saw him maybe once in my dreams but not in real life not in real life i have not seen him what do you have to say there old man all right uh-huh are you mm, are you sure that i'm the one on drugs because you're telling me a story about two furries using a cannon down in hell to fight satan okay cool it pop off uh weird flex but continue yeah uh-huh great uh continue along and then you got frozen in hell by satan as a furry all right okay let's recap okay now you're a wolf boy uh no you broke out your ice broke uh-huh you are now in the dawn age so wait a second does that mean that he was in the age of the elder gods got frozen and just now released out of the ice so you essentially have the knowledge of what this world used to be and why i'm so sick what are your secrets why are you what are you not telling me <laughs> what are you not telling me 
And hey, I actually, oh, there we go. I was about to say, I can't even attack in this area, but we do have an elevator right here. Now, does this elevator lead to exactly where I need it to? Because I guarantee you it will. I, it's all going to come together. I bet we're going to come down here and everything is going to be realized. Everything's be like, oh, now it makes sense. Right? I hope so. I mean, this seems like a familiar area. Blow you up. There's a little bit of fire on the ground, but that's fine. Move on through. Activate you. That creates a path. But these are all locked. Don't have a way of opening them. Creates a giant path along the way. It, can I open any of them? Any of them at all. Any of them at all. Now, see, these seem like more secure. That, that, you know, you actually have cells that lock from not only the inside, but also the outside. Now, that seems nice. The other cells were just open, which means that they chose to be in that jail cell. Oh, is this a secret plate? No, nope, just I, I, everything I assume is just a secret. You know, I'm always trying to find new explorations and stuff like that around in the area. That is a button. Should I hit the button again? I'm going to hit the button again. Are you all? And now they're all open. Okay, nice. You know, let's go ahead and get that gold coin. Do we really need anything else out of these other bays? I don't think I would do. Ooh, nice. Now we have four gold coins. Honestly, we can get ourselves a few upgrades. If we find ourselves getting kind of like the first cores and like moving back towards town at any point, we will probably want to go take a look at getting some of those new dashes and, um, Maybe, maybe a sword ability, something of the sort. We can even upgrade the, the, our little kind of laser gun as well to have a little bit more ammo. We'll take a look and see what it is that it has to offer all around. And we could also get like another med kit as well to try to hold up a little bit more on our health. Try to hold up the enemies a little bit more. But kind of progressing through, not a whole lot of combat, not a whole lot of, uh, what do you even call it, conflict. Can we open up this door? No, this one's locked out. But why would we want to get in there? It seems a little bit random. I'm not seeing a button nearby just yet. That is a button just yet. Okay. That seems, it all seems like they add things for, maybe they're like red herrings. Like what's the point of having that? Like what does that solve? What are you about to give me? I mean, you give me a med kit. That's, that's, that is helpful. I'm not gonna lie, that is helpful. But if that is the only purpose, then it's definitely a red herring. Cause, oh really, we're going up? Okay, we're going up now. I feel like not a lot was achieved, so it's probably about to break us out into an area that we have not been to before. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Uh, they are all dying to the crystals. Uh-huh. So, that is a concern. Let him attack one more time. Yeah, now I can get my swings in. I'm a little afraid. Get across. Get across. Ooh, that was close. What is around here? They're... Okay. You seem very friendly. I'll give you a slap on the back. A slap. Ow. Dang it. Get rid of you, please. Wait, actually, let's check the map. Where are we? So we are kind of in that in-between area. It still doesn't seem like we're anywhere closer towards getting any of the cores. But we are loaded into kind of some new territory. Okay, we're making progress. I'm coughing all of a sudden and dying. Coughing and, and shitting and coming all at once. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. <laughs> He's... Okay. Oh, I love that. Kind of like the aesthetic of just kind of faded through a campfire. Either we're about to come across some new goblins or I'm about to enter a new area. Aha. Uh -huh. That created a shortcut of sorts. Where are we again? We do need to get up top and this has put us kind of back to where we were before. This didn't exactly solve a whole lot. We do still kind of have these things in the way. Like, what is this path all about? I can't seem to find a way up there, right? I mean, this is this is where I met the love of my life. You guys remember the love of my life, right? You know, Jerry. Yeah, yeah Jerry. Yeah, yeah, you know, J E E R R Y. Ah, dang it! That happened just like last time. Just like last time when I met Jerry. Hey there, Jerry. Hey, give me ah, Jerry. No, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> So no, that just goes right back towards wow, an actual, per, an actual, an actual accidental voice crack. I'm 29 years old. I do not need voice cracks right now. This has solved nothing, huh? I feel like a lot has been accomplished here today, but I don't know what has been accomplished here today. It seems like we're all filling in the pieces of the puzzle very slowly. Can I break into anything here off this right hand side? There's like a whole bunch of stuff that I can like slash around and move into and no, not quite. Nothing of the sorts. 
Hmm. There is definitely a lot that I'm just barely missing. So if you guys, I'm sure that there's got to be some people watching this who are just probably screaming their minds out. Like, why? How are you not seeing this? What do you, how do you not understand what's going on? What? You bypass it. You pass it. It was right there. I'm sure there's some stuff like that. But you got to remember, I am, I'm, I'm, I'm a YouTuber. I am instinctually and by nature just dumb. Or rather because I'm I'm too concentrated on making commentary, trying to find out what's going on in, in the game. I mean, grenade. Oh, that was pretty effective. I actually got quite a few of them. I just got an achievement. Kill five enemies with a bomb. Oh, I'm sorry. They're not called grenades. They're called bombs. Does a grenade count as a bomb? I mean, it's an explosive device, right? At what point does something become a bomb? Like what, what, what has to define something as a bomb? Right, because is it like a radius thing? Because technically speaking, a gun would be a bomb, right? It's just a mini explosion. At what point does an explosion become a bomb? Is it one is like enclosed and has shrapnel involved or something of the sort? I'm not exactly sure what ends up classifying this stuff. Um, go ahead and get rid of all these little crystal spiders. I have no need for you. And you guys have honestly just been nothing but a nuisance of just something to kill. Get rid of it. Get more of my med kits out. I mean, these giant crystal bears, you know, I gotta say, at least the enemies in this territory are not very difficult. They haven't been exactly much of a challenge trying to figure out exactly what it is and how to try to dodge their attack patterns and all the sorts. And, and they're not very hard, but they are a little bit tedious in general. Oh, we're making grounds. We're making grounds. We're finding distance. We are kind of on the top side. Can I break through all this? No, we're kind of on the top side of where I think the other path was. You look to be important. Oh, this is one of the cores. Of course, it's important. Why am I spacing out? It's one of the cores. <laughs> it's one of the cores. Okay. Yeah. I don't, I don't know why I'm spacing. I'm like, hold on. Like, what is this? Oh, it's the thing that I've been looking for this entire time. Way to go, Digital Dave. Awesome. Great. <laughs> ten out of ten commentary. Like, what? What is this? Uh, are you? Are you? Are you the lore? Uh, are you the Lord advancing piece of technology that I've been looking for this entire time? I think you are. All right. Well, that. I mean, that does solve a little bit. We got to one of the cores, but now how do we get to the rest? So honestly, I think we can actually go ahead and teleport back towards the towards the pad because we think I think we needed just one of these to open up one of these doors on the south side. So if we go ahead and travel back down south, we should be able to open up that other door that was blocking us before because I don't think it was saying that we needed four sections. I think it was just telling us that we needed like one section in general just to open it up. But we're about to find out, right? No, never mind. It is telling us that we need all four to open that up. Okay. Ah, uh, so that has accomplished a lot. And that really does just kind of leave us right back to just this elevator. And I don't know how to get those cores down in that area. Well, hey, I tell you what, Digities, that I'm obviously missing a lot of stuff. And I promise you in the next episode, we will be figuring this out. I'm going to be trying to take a look. I'm going to try the, my very best to understand what it is that's going on to bring you guys that best content to try to progress along the story and hope that you guys are enjoying finding out what is going on with all the lore, what's going on with the story, and what is going on in general in terms of the story out here and behind the scenes and all that fun stuff. And remember, if you guys want to take a look at all those analytical information of what goes on behind the videos, behind the scenes of what it is, that we're always looking at and researching as a YouTuber. Feel free to check out my kind of rant video because God knows that YouTube is probably not going to put that out to a lot of people because I swear too many times. <laughs> I swear too many times. I know I don't know exactly how their whole rule is besides that you shouldn't swear in like the first like 60 seconds. I give it maybe around the first like 90 seconds. See what it is. All that fun stuff. But you know, hey, also join the Discord. We do have a Discord and we I technically have a Reddit, but I, I don't know how to use Reddit. I find the UI very very confusing and i find the entire system extremely difficult to use but you know hey it's there it's there to post if someone wants to just hijack it and start doing what they want <laughs> honestly but we don't discord on that fun stuff but honestly you know all that all you know all that. if you've been on youtube at all you know how it goes we have our links we have our subscribe we have our likes and we have our comments all that fun stuff but thank you digities i still don't really know how to do any of these outros because god knows i always ramble on for way too long so but if there's one thing i can always promise you then I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and bye-bye.